Hey guys, this is Patrick Pfeiffer from High Definition, and welcome to the demonstration video of our brand new product, Cine Pro Color Grades. So let's dive right in. Once you've purchased and downloaded your copy of Cine Pro Color Grades, you'll end up with a neat little zip file. In this case, we'll be using the After Effects version, but Cine Pro Color Grades is also compatible with Premiere Pro and SA Color Finesse 3 standalone application. For installation, all we have to do is unzip the folder, locate the presets folder, copy it, and paste it into your presets folder in the After Effects directory. And finished. That was pretty simple. You're also going to want to restart After Effects in order for the animation folder to refresh. I've already installed my copy into After Effects, and for time's sake, I'll go into more detail on the installation process in a later video. But for now, we're done with the installation and we're moving on to some examples to explain what exactly is Cine Pro Color Grades. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at what the installation did. If we locate the Cine Pro Color Grades folder in the FX browser, we can see a neatly categorized set of preset folders for specific looks. There are 35 perfected presets in total. And since the presets are located conveniently in the FX browser, applying them is made faster and easier than ever before. There's also some bonus AE presets and other goodies, but we'll get into that later in the video. Alright, now for the product demo. If you check out my website, you can get a full list of information on, on what Cine Pro Color Grades is. But in summary, it's a professional collection of presets that gives your videos, photographs, and graphics a stylized appearance. Let's put that into practice. Alright, so here I have a couple examples of some clips that I captured on the 60D. Let's take a look at how we would apply a grade to one of the clips. The first clip we're going to take a look at, it looks decent on its own. But it's really far off from having a professional, stylized look that we're after. Let's try some grades and see if we can find one that we like. All we have to do is locate the effects browser, open up the Cine Pro Color Grades folder, select a category, and apply a look. And results are immediate. Let's say a look is too strong and we want to accurately dial down the look, not a problem. Simply create a new adjustment layer, apply look, and adjust the opacity accordingly. Unfortunately, it would be impossible to cover each feature in detail, but keep in mind that each preset was handcrafted with the finest attention to detail. Even subtle details were carefully considered, like the preset name updating in real time in the effects tab. As you have seen, changing a look in a pinch is effortless. Having the ability to change a specific look on demand is notably powerful, as you'll spend less time trying to recreate the look you're after, and more time on telling your story exactly the way you envisioned it. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. As I flip through some of the looks, pay close attention to how each individual look affects the skin tones. As you can start to see, another detail that was carefully kept in mind in the development of Cine Pro Color Grades was preservation of skin tones. Look how the skin tones are kept intact, despite some of the more creative or punchy looks. Alright, for this next clip, we're going to utilize some of the bonus presets and goodies that are included with the Cine Pro Color Grades collection. Let's import them real quick and check them out individually. As you can see, Cine Pro Color Grades also includes a widescreen bar and a couple variations of a vignette. For this clip, we're going to go after an epic look. First, we're going to drop in the vignette overlay in the timeline. And as you can see, we have now instantly applied a vignette to the clip. Let's play around with some of the overlay properties. Put in hard light, and now we're getting in the right direction. Let's apply a cinematic look to the clip using an adjustment layer, and apply one of our grades. And wow, that looks fantastic. Although the colors are complemented well in this clip, there's a lot of noise poking up. Luckily, I included a bonus preset that utilizes Adobe's noise reduction plugin that will instantly clean up the noise. We're going to go to the Cine Pro Color Grades folder, but instead, we're going to go to the bonus AE folder and apply the Cine Denoiser preset to the clip. Again, instant results and no fussing around with the plugin. I've also included a very stylized grain preset that we can apply to the clip to get a more filmic look. We're going to make another adjustment layer and simply drag on the preset. Now let's apply the widescreen Cinescope overlay. 
and now we've created an epic look in a matter of seconds. Now keep in mind that the noise reduction and grain presets are very GPU intensive, and it is best to keep them off until it's time for rendering. Alright, now let's take a look at Cine Pro Color Grades to Photos. Personally, I'm more familiar with After Effects over Photoshop, and I find that anything is equally possible in both programs. But let's quickly polish up the photo with one of the grades from our Cine Pro Color Grades collection. We're simply going to create an adjustment layer, select a look, and double clip. We can also quickly change the look, and as I mentioned before, the skin tones will be kept intact, which is crucial with a human subject. As I mentioned before earlier, Cine Pro Color Grades works great with motion graphics. Let's check it out. Here we're going to get a quick RAM preview and check out what we're working with. Alright, a couple things. The motion graphic looks great on its own, but it lacks the vintage appearance which the title suggests. It also looks quite bland. Let's fix that. Let's give it that vintage appearance. We're going to create adjustment layer and select a vintage look from our vintage folder in our Cine Pro Color Grades collection. Look how much color we brought out of the original graphic. The graded version looks much more appealing. Let's get some before and after. Pretty impressive. But let's say we want a combination of the two looks. All we have to do is create two adjustment layers this time. Select a different look for each layer. and then blend them by dialing in the opacity. But what if we want more creative control? SA Color Finesse 3 is an excellent professional plugin that is shipped with all the latest versions of After Effects. If we want to tweak a parameter or deconstruct the look, we can open up the full interface and alter each parameter with precision. As you have seen, Cine Pro Color Grades is an essential tool for creating expressive artistic work and giving the users unparalleled power and options. If you have already purchased Cine Pro Color Grades, we hope that you can appreciate the time and detail that was put into every single look, and we thank you for doing so. If you haven't or would like to try the free trial version, please visit my website at hiidefinition.com. Thank you.